So are workers' rights good in a, in a sustainable factory? Are they are the workers looked after? So here's the thing. Workers' rights fall into ethics. So actually, if something, and this goes for anything, whether it's a factory, a product, a fabric, anything, if it's sustainable, that has literally no relation whatsoever to workers' rights, to animal rights, to safety, to working hours, pay, anything like that. So sustainable doesn't mean anything in terms of the impact of people working there or animals being used in the process. So it's really important to get that message across for me, actually, personally, because it's like my little personal mission, because I see a lot of people getting confused and thinking, oh, um, this factory or this brand is sustainable. They must pay their workers fairly. And it's totally different things. It's like chalk and cheese. Right. So what we need to remember is that, you know, a lot of brands are sustainable, but they are not ethical. A lot of fabrics are sustainable, but they're not ethical. A lot of factories are sustainable, but not ethical. So we need to keep that in mind that they are very separate things. So if you are somebody, and I hope you are somebody who cares about ethics like I do, um, and somebody who cares about sustainability, they're not the same things. You're going to have to ask different questions. So for instance, if you are concerned about both you could ask that a factory or any anybody you're working with for that matter you know what is your sustainable policy what is your ethical policy and generally I find it's not a foolproof rule but generally I find that if someone is genuinely ethical and sustainable you can't shut them up about it if you ask that question it's so open you know what is your policy um you can't shut them up about it they are so excited to share they have a passion for it and they really want to tell you all the things that they're doing if somebody is not then they'll be they'll start to clam up then you'll see them get nervous they won't really give you specific answers um and that's obviously a bad sign um so often i'll just ask that kind of open-ended question about um, sustainability and ethics and then let them do the talking and that's usually a good indicator Often as well, there's things that we can look into, certifications and things like that from third parties that help us to assess how sustainable and ethical a factory is. So you can look out for those kinds of things as well. But yeah, definitely two separate things. So if you are concerned about both, you need to make sure that you are asking questions about both as well. I hope that helps, that clarification. Okay, it does. Amazing. Um,